In this presentation, we are going to look at the RAND and SRAND commands. So, what are these? Uh, what are these about? So, first off, let's look at the RAND function. This function generates an, an array of random numbers of of the size specified by the input arguments DIMMs, and these elements are uniformly distributed between zero and one. So, let's just have a quick look at how that would work. Let's go here to. G Julia Studio, and uh, that was something I was working on earlier. So the command is as follows. I'm working with Julia Studio here, and the command is as follows: uh, rand. And uh, let's go for let's say two and five. So there we have a two by five array. All the numbers there are between zero and one, which is sort of say the uniform distribution, and um, that's it really. Now we can actually just say specify two values and have a single array, or a, 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 just a single array like that, um, rather than the sort of matrix. And okay, and finally, just one more comment there. Without an input argument, the rand uh, generates one number, one random number between zero and one. So we just put in rand on its own, the default value there is one, and we get a, a number there like that, 0 0.6931. Okay, so that's rand. Okay, and let's go to srand now. And uh, this, uh, is used to seed the random number generator that is used to generate the random number so it's srand in other uh, programming languages it's seed and set seed and stuff like that so uh, and or in matlab it's rng anyway that's a bit of a digression so let's see how it works uh, srand so first off actually sorry i'll just go to, let's uh, compute a random number there okay now srand uh, let's pick a seed so you pick a number like that uh, just keep track of it srand okay and rand again and srand one two three four and rand again so what happens here is the number here that i've uh, automatically generated is the same as the number the random number here I automatically generated then and again it all depend it's because it was specified the randomness was specified by this seed there's a lot of material there's a lot of uh, stuff there to talk about um pseudo random number and random number generation it's not purely random it's actually uh, there's a sort of algorithm and the key part of the algorithm is the seed so uh if I was to go again I'll get a new random number now. So there we go. That's different from the one up top. Let's do that for a random matrix. So S rand, one, two, three, four. Rand, uh, let's go for two and two. There we go. Let's do it again. Uh, both of these matrices are identical. It sort of helps to just actually write them all in the same line like that, just to sort of save space. Um, so if I was to go to and uh, do another one now, we get a new random matrix. So that that is S rand. So again, the key point of that is the to be able to reproduce random numbers. That's quite an important thing in research. Okay.